Hello friends, now we see problem 1, sub question 5, which is based on theorem of parametric function of chapter differentiation. The problem is, x is equal to sine inverse in bracket 2 theta upon 1 plus theta square, bracket complete, comma, y equal to sec inverse in bracket under root 1 plus theta square, bracket complete. And for this question, we have to find dy by dx. Now let's see the solution. First of all, we start from x is equal to sine inverse in bracket 2 theta upon 1 plus theta square. So in this question, we recall the formula for sine 2 theta. That 2 tan theta upon 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sine of 2 theta. So, if you observe the term which is a present in bracket that 2 theta upon 1 plus theta square that tally with the LHS of formula for sine 2 theta that is a 2 tan theta upon 1 plus tan square theta. So, from this we conclude that theta must be we have to replace by tan theta. So, now put theta is equal to tan t. From that we get t equal to tan inverse of theta. Therefore, the next step will be x is equal to sine inverse in bracket. Now, whenever theta, we have to write tan t. So, we get 2t upon 1 plus 2 tan t upon 1 plus tan square t. Now the bracket is nothing but formula for sin 2t. So the next step will be x is equal to sin inverse in bracket sin of 2t. Cancelling sin and sin inverse. So we have x is equal to 2t. Therefore, x is equal to 2 into, now for t, we replace value tan inverse theta. The next step will be differentiate x with respect to theta. We get dx upon d theta is equal to 2 into now derivative of tan inverse x is 1 upon 1 plus x square therefore derivative of tan inverse theta is 1 upon 1 plus theta square so finally dx upon d theta is equal to 2 upon 1 plus theta square Now we consider the second function that y equal to sec inverse in bracket under root 1 plus theta square. Now in this question we put theta is equal to tan t. Therefore t is equal to tan inverse of theta. So therefore we have y equal to sec inverse in bracket under root 1 plus for theta we write tan so it is a tan square t. 
So y equal to sec inverse. Now 1 plus tan square is a trigo formula that gives sec square theta. So sec inverse in bracket under root sec square t bracket complete. So y equal to sec inverse in bracket. Now square and root cancel. So we have only sec t. The next step will be now sec and sec inverse also cancel. So we have y equal to t. And for t we substitute tan inverse of theta. Now differentiate y with respect to theta we get so we have dy upon d theta is equal to 1 upon 1 plus theta square Now we will apply theorem which is a based on parametric function that so therefore dy by dx is equal to dy upon d theta whole thing divided by dx upon d theta provided dx upon d theta is not equal to 0 therefore dy upon dx is equal to for dy by d theta we substitute 1 upon 1 plus theta square upon and for dx by d theta we substitute 2 upon 1 plus theta square so finally we cancel 1, pro 1 plus theta square from denominator. So we have dy upon dx is equal to 1 upon 2. This is a required solution for the given problem. Thank you.